Hello everybody, welcome back to the Europa Park Guide channel. Now, today we're going to be talking about um, what is the best time of year to come to Europa Park and what are the attractions and roller coasters with uh, the, uh, the shortest queue lines. So, yeah, Europa Park is a pretty busy theme park as it's the most popular in Germany. Um, now, it isn't as popular, per se, as uh, Disneyland Paris or stuff like that. But, um, yeah, in terms of, like, German theme parks, it's definitely the highest. And it's the second highest in Europe overall. And about 50,000 guests uh, visit annually. Uh, actually, no, I think the, per day, actually. Um, and, yeah, the park is really busy, but... Um, I do have some specific dates that um, can actually help you and um, basically get the shortest queue lines on every single ride. Now, let's talk about dates. First off, um, probably the worst time, I mean, the worst time in terms of um, waiting for attractions to go to Europa Park is in the summer. In the summer, everybody is free, and a lot of people uh, is going to go to Europa Park. And that's when Europa Park gets its most revenue, because the most people go in at, uh, at summer, in the middle of the year. Um, I do recommend you should go at summer, because if you don't go at summer... Um, you have the risk of um, not going on Poseidon and, uh, and Atlantica Super Splash and many other water rides, which are really cool in my opinion. Um, and yeah, honestly, I, I really recommend to, um, to go in the summer. But uh, in the winter, you may think, well, then in the winter, not as many people will go because you can't go on Atlantica Super Splash. And yes poseidon you you can go on poseidon in the winter um but yeah basically what i'm trying to say is if you want short queue lines and you only want to go for one time in the year do not go in summer i mean you can go in summer for like one time but then switch over to um what uh the specific day that i'm about to say because it's probably the best Jan uh, the 3rd of January. Now, why the 3rd of January? Well, most European countries on the 3rd of January uh, end uh, Christmas break. Um, and not many people are uh, are going to go on that day. Um, and yeah, I really recommend you go on this date. I went there. And... Um, like uh, some coasters like can can coaster had one minute queue lines manahorn blitz one minute queue line um basically every every single attraction there had one minute like how good is that i did go to um, the christmas event they were hosting and um yeah with like with my friend which i will not mention here um, but you're probably gonna find it out um, because I am going to uh, go to Europa Park and record myself. Now, yes, this that is technically a face reveal, but you know I'm a Europa Park um, channel and I wanna f I wanna display how I typically um, practically uh, I I spend my days at Europa Park. Um, there's probably gonna be like two vlogs. Maybe three, and I'm not sure. Anyways, back to the video. Um, so yeah, January 3rd. That's the best time of year to visit Europa Park, in my opinion. Now, next attractions with the shortest queue lines and also the roller coaster with the shortest queue lines. But there are also attractions, keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, in terms of attractions, like flat rides, dark rides, and stuff like that, basically everything that is not a roller coaster, um, I would say, like, um, Pirates and Batif, yeah, basically it's, um, this pirate ride, very well themed, and with very, uh, like, quality, uh, animatronics, yeah, uh, last time I checked, it had a one minute queue line, there's this really cool um, boat ride, th this flat boat ride, 
which is really fun and it, it has like um one manicure line it, it's in the iceland section uh yeah i really like that one um and in terms of roller coasters i would say that either um buy express which i don't think any person w would go on buy express because it's quite a boring ride um that's okay honestly uh i just am not really a big fan of it um so yeah i think probably your best bet would probably be Matterhorn Blitz because that's like a coaster that not many people know about or Alpine Express like Alpine Express is very quick if you buy the VR thing uh, it goes by really fast because not a lot of people do it I always buy it because I personally like it and um yeah that's about it uh I'll post probably two videos today so yeah be sure um, to watch the other one too. Bye.